Thank you very much for stopping by my YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, please do me a favor, click subscribe, like, and the notification bell. So every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Today's video is short and sweet, but it's about input monitoring. No matter what DAW you use, this is to get you up and running. Here I'm going to Logic Pro. I'm going to Preferences. I'm going to Audio. And you should see this dialog box. Now the audio interface that I'm using is Universal Audio. You would click this if you're using a different one. You should see it here in this dialog box. The input and the output. So when you use monitors, you'll be able to hear it. The buffer size, let's say you go to a, a fancy restaurant or any restaurant and you put more food on your plate than you can handle. Well, that's <laughs> like it is with your computer, okay? If you have 64-bit and you're not using that many plugins, your computer will be able to process it. If you click this here and you see these different settings, 128, 256, 512, 1024, okay, if you're trying to record at 1024 or 512, your computer is going to be struggling to process it and you're going to have what they call latency. You know when you're waiting for a bus and you uh, get to the bus stop late, okay? It's something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so therefore, um, you should be recording at around 64 or 128 uh, based on what your computer can handle. You can even go to 32 if your computer is uh, working fine with that. But I'm usually around 64 or 128. But if you're trying to record at 256 and you have a lot of plugins, when you sing into the microphone, everything is going to be late or sound late. And then you'll have to, what they say, quantize to try to uh, get everything in timing. But that's for another video. If I go over here to general, I will see input monitoring. When I, I can click that, and now you don't hear me. If I leave it off, that means it'll work when I'm doing this. Okay, when I go to here and I'm recording, I would hit record and then I will hit input monitoring. This way I can hear myself into the headphones while I'm recording at the same time. If this is off, most likely I wouldn't be able to hear myself. Okay, so you have to have that clicked on for input monitoring. And if I go here, if I want the same settings that I see over here, I can click this and it'll give me the grand piano again with the input monitoring again. If I want to do new settings, I would click on this one. I would have my audio or my instruments, which you saw the grand piano. If I want to just do audio, I would click that. And I still have my input monitoring. And I would click that, and I would be able to hear myself while I'm recording. And I hit record, and I hit the space bar. And I hit record. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. Let's see what happens. And I'd hit record. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. I can drag this over to the beginning since I just started there. Drag this loop. Close it up. To here. Hit return on the space bar. Hit the space bar again. And I'd hit record. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. Now, what some people may not know, let's make this bigger and stretch this out here just to change the view. You see how right here the audio is it's not really that big? I can hit command and the plus sign and make it bigger because you might think that you have to record it louder because you see it's so small. I hit the minus that time, command and minus. And you may see that and say, oh my God, it, it didn't record that loud, but, but you hear it loud in your headset. 
So hit command and the plus sign. Just keep tapping it and you can get it and you can see. Now if your audio file peaks beyond here, you start getting a red, you know, red uh, indication here, then that's showing you that you recorded your your audio too loud. Or if your audio peaks anywhere beyond here or the bottom. But this is pretty safe right here in the middle. But that's for another video, but I figured I'd give you that extra tip because of the fact that the audio looked like it was so small. And this is for your software instruments, whether you have a piano and you're playing it on the keyboard and your MIDI information would show up here. So I hope that this video was helpful in just giving you some tips on uh, input monitoring and the buffer size. I'll go again here to where you see audio. Now, in this buffer size here, when you are recording, you want to keep it around 64 or 128. When you're done recording and nothing is live, you can change it to 512 or 1024. This has nothing to do with the quality. It has to do with what your computer can handle. And if you have more plugins in at uh, 258 and 512 and you're not recording live, most likely your computer can handle it and the processing will be a little bit better. So uh, I hope this was uh, helpful and hopefully this can get you up and running and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.